In 2013, something extraordinary happened. Wigan won the FA Cup. In the same season, something less than extraordinary happened. Wigan were relegated. This is the story of that bittersweet year and a club who defied expectation. Wigan won promotion to the Premier League and today they are playing in League One. What went wrong for Wigan Athletic? Founded in 1932, they have played at DW Stadium since 1999, before which they played at Springfield Park. Their colours are blue and white stripes. In February 1995, a local British millionaire, Dave Whelan, purchased the club. When he bought Wigan Athletic, they were a Division 3 team. After Whelan took the reins, he announced that he would get Wigan Athletic into the Premier League, a promise he fulfilled in 2005. This began with the Division 3 title in 1996-1997, the Division 2 title in 2002-2003 and promotion to the Premier League as championship runners-up in 2004-2005. He funded the £30 million construction of the club's then new stadium, the DW Stadium. Good league form was coupled with an equally strong performance Wigan Athletic would eventually finish the season in 10th place, which remains the club's highest ever league placing. Wigan sold many notable players who had starred in the Premier League, Emil Heskey to Aston Villa, Leighton Baines to Everton, Wilson Palacios to Tottenham, Antonio Valencia to Manchester United, Charles N. Zogbia to Aston Villa, and Victor Moses to Chelsea. Wigan appointed Roberto Martinez, as manager prior to the 2009-10 Premier League season, that season they claimed their first three points against a big four inches team after beating Chelsea 3-1. In the 2010-2011 season, despite remaining in the bottom three for the majority of the season, Wigan managed to survive on the last day of the season. In 2013 came the FA Cup magic. Wigan reached the FA Cup final for the first time in their history. In the final, played at Wembley Stadium, Wigan beat Manchester City 1-0. Following their 4-1 defeat to Arsenal three days later, Wigan Athletic ended their eight-year spell in the Premier League and became the first team to be relegated and win the FA Cup in the same season. The same year it was announced that Martinez had left Wigan. The downfall of Wigan Athletic starts. After relegation from Premier League, Wigan played Championship until 2016 to 2017 season, where they got relegated down to League One after finishing second bottom in the Championship. In the 2017 uh, 2018 League One season, Wigan finished top, winning promotion back to the Championship. At the end of the season, it was announced that the Whelan family had agreed a deal to sell the club, stadium and training facilities to the Hong Kong-based International Entertainment Corporation, IEC, in a pound 22M deal. On November 2018, IEC received shareholder approval to complete the acquisition of the football club, ending 23 years of Whelan family ownership. Before the sell, Wigan finished 18th in the championship with 52 points, well clear of the relegation zone. Two years later, the new owners decided to sell and on June 2020, IEC sold the majority of Wigan Athletic shareholdings to Hong Kong-based Next Leader Fund. The sale was formally ratified and approved by the shareholders of IEC, the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and the EFL. On July 2020, the club, standing 14th in the championship, eight points clear of relegation, announced it had gone into administration as their new owner, Next Leader Fund, had refused to invest promised money. The insolvency left Wigan facing a 12-point deduction from the EFL Federation. The sanction would be applied at the end of the 2019-2020 season. Players had not been paid and there was talk of club staff being made redundant and of players being offered for sale. Wigan's supporters club also called for an investigation and for financial support from the EFL. Initially, the Hong Kong businessman Dr. Choi Cho Fei Stanley, chairman of IEC, owned more than 50% of both the seller, IEC and the buyer. NLF, but then Ao Yung, initially a minority shareholder in NLF, was stated to have become the owner. He is thought to be the 100% owner, a complete takeover from IEC. 
The EFL is understood to have approved both the initial NLF takeover and Are You Youngs, so the Wigan calamity again raises questions over its vetting processes. The rules only require a buyer to show that they have the money to fund the club, not to actually provide that money, a bond or insurance to ensure the funding is there. On July 2020, approximately, half of the club's non-playing staff were made redundant by the administrators. Wigan would later record their biggest league victory, beating Hull City 8-0. This, combined with other results, meant Wigan would not finish in the relegation. Unfortunately, the 12-point deduction applied confirmed their the relegation to League One. It was reported that Oh Young Wai Kai, the club's owner, had asked Begbie's trainer, the insolvency practitioners, about putting it into administration before completing his takeover. An independent commission would later describe the situation as a tragedy. Wigan have been let down by those who appear to have seen it as an opportunity for investment and profit, the commission said. While football was still shut down due to COVID-19 and many clubs fear going out of business, Al Young decided to buy Wigan Athletic, a club which even in normal times loses millions of pounds. This was a red flag. At first, in partnership with Choi, he paid £17.5 million, giving IEC more than they paid for the club and also ensured their £24 MR loan was repaid. But then, on the day he took ownership after this £41 M purchase, he decided not to fund it and to put the club into administration. So losing control, the £17.5 million and probably the £24 million too. No explanation has been provided for this remarkable change of events. IEC noted when selling to NLF that the championship's punishing finances were the key reason for cutting their losses. But Al Jung has not explained why he decided it was worth £41 million to have a go at Wigan, then immediately dropped the club and put it into administration. It is believed the sale could have been orchestrated by IEC, effectively to take Wigan off its books before it was dumped. Wigan supporters began a fundraising effort to save the club, initially raising £500,000 to help secure the club's future and then raising £200,000 more. By early March 2021, the administrators sold the club to a consortium, Phoenix 2021 Lauted, led by Bahrain businessman Abdul Rahman Al Jazmi and Talal Mubarak Al Hamad. The club finished the 2020-2021 season in 20th position in League One, one point above the relegation. The following season, 2021-2022, they won the League One title and earned promotion back to the championship. The financial troubles continued. On March 2023, Wigan reported a £7.7 million loss for the financial year to June 2022. Four days later, Wigan released a statement saying there would be a temporary delay in meeting wage obligations due to liquidity issues. The EFL was aware of the situation and, on the 20th of March 2023, bottom of the table Wigan were docked a total of six points for failing to pay players, having had a previous EFL sanction for non-payment suspended. At the end of the 2022-2023 season, they were relegated from the championship. On June 2023, Wigan got new owner Mike Danson and they would start the 2023-2024 to League One season on minus eight points after a suspended points deduction by the English Football League, EFL was enacted after the club failed to deposit the funds to cover its wage bill. Today, Wigan sits 13th position despite eight points deduction. The story of Wigan Athletics serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of responsible ownership and financial management in football. Can Wigan Athletic bounce back and recreate its old glory days? Comment below your thoughts and also please hit the like button. Comment and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.